Welcome back everyone, this is Mondo All Day, back to another video, and in this video, I'll be doing an overview of Batgirl, this is from the Art of the Crime storyline, I'll be talking about the figure itself in terms of the articulation, sculpture, and paint, and if it's worth your purchase or not. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not only support the channel, but to keep up today and watch videos like this. So let's take a look at front of the box, this side, the back, which you can tell is a very old school a figure because look at the art and also there's that the other side top and bottom and there you go here's a price tag that i paid for which i'll talk about the price in a bit all right now let's take a look at the figure outside the box as always it do come with a card the front of the card looks like the back of the card you can tell this is an old school McFarlane figure because look at the thickness of it. It's pretty darn thick for a card. So, yeah, you can tell it's an old school figure. It does come with some accessories. Here is a Batarang. Cool looking Batarang. I like the Batarang. I like the color of it too. It has a little bit of gold, a little bit of shine to it. And of course, the Batgirl logo. Looks nice. It does come with a grappling gun. So the gun itself, pretty clean looking. Not much going on. Then you have here the grappling gun at the end of it, where it actually hooks onto somewhere. And no, it does not move or anything, it's just like that. And a little bit of glossy black. And there's the other side, it's pretty cool. And this is a build a figure, or in this case, a build a vehicle. It's gonna be for the Batmobile. This is one part, there's three parts to it. So you got Batgirls one, which is the left side, the centerpiece, I believe it's gonna be Nightwing. Or Batman who laughs, and the right side is going to be night. I believe it's Nightwing. So there's three parts, and to me, this is probably not the best build a figure or build a vehicle because you need three figures, which is fine, but the vehicle is eh, not my liking. But there's that though. So let's take a look at the figure. We will start off with the articulation. So left, right, good, up, down. Not a whole lot because of her hair, but left and right is good. Shoulder articulation, good. Bicep, good. Elbows, good. Wrist, it's a little stiff, good. And we'll do the torso. Um, torso, it's fine, not the greatest. So the upper body articulation, the arms is good. Torso is not the greatest, and same thing with the head. So it's all good nonetheless, which... I'm okay with the articulation being somewhat limited because of other things of this figure, which I'll talk about in a bit. Leg articulation, good. Knees, good. Ankles, good. Toes, good. And we'll do a little swivel. Not a whole lot of swivel, but there's something. So the lower body articulation is good as always. And overall, the articulation of this figure, it's fine. Some limited parts here and there, but it's fine nonetheless. Now let's talk about this figure because man, right away, this head sculpture, it is fantastic. Wow, where do we start? One, the hair, I like the long hair look to it. The color of it looks good. You got a little bit of like dark brown, a little bit of orange and black on there and it looks really good. Very stylized hair. You got the little pointy ears on there as well too. But the hair is very stylized, very big. And you can see a little bit of the ear right there. Very subtle, which is fine, but it looks good because you can actually see little dimples on there, which is not a big thing. You might think like, oh, it's just dimples. What about it? But little things like that, like little dimples, it makes the head sculpture pop even more. You appreciate it more. And this head sculpture, it is fantastic. You got the painted lips on there, like a dark red. You got the eyes. You got the little bit of the black mask. Just a good looking head sculpture design for Batgirl. Just look at that. That's a good looking head sculpture. And the dimples, very subtle, but you appreciate it more. And you really, you appreciate it more. That's all I can say. Because like, again, from a distance, you might not notice it. But once you see the dimples, you can't really unsee it. And when you see other figures, you're like, it looks fine with the other figures. But little things like that, like the dimples or the ear right here on the hair or the pointy you know, bat tips or ears right here on top of the head. It's subtle, but it looks really good, man. McFarlane did a really good job with this head sculpture. It looks fantastic. Man, 
I'm really digging this head sculpture. Then you got here on the arm, you got a little bit of texture design there. And then the arm is very plain looking. You got the gauntlets on there, clean looking. The upper body looks good. You got that back row logo, very bright color on there. It has like a matte, like goldish with yellowish. Then you got more of the same kind of style that's on here, the shoulder. Also present on the abdomen, on the chest right there. And then the other side of the gauntlet, you can see the Batman or Batgirl logo on the gauntlet. And then here, the little tips right there. And then you have the cape. Cape is short, very stylized cape. I like this. I like the style of it. I'm not a fan of the whole short cape, but for this particular figure, I mean, it's Batgirl, so it's fine. But the stylized cape, I really, really, really like. And also, it comes with the backpack. Again, you can't really see it, but little details like this with the backpack, even the backpack has a little bit of sculpture design. You appreciate it more. You got more of this bat design on there in the back. Again, small, subtle details, but when you look at it as a whole, you just appreciate it more. And man, the upper body looks really, really good. The cape looks fantastic. Like I can see it very stylish, but not long but again that's back girl but the head sculpture is going to be the highlight for me it just looks really 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 good let's take a look at the tape of the belt three pockets here on the side not much going on they are somewhat defined not a whole lot but it's doable and passable then you got in front here just the back girl symbol and in the back there's nothing and there you go for you perverts out there she does do squats so that's that in terms of the lower body it's Clean, plain looking, gray, just similar to the upper body, just gray. Same thing on the lower body, it's just gray. Abdomen on the chest right here. Also present here on the leg. And that's pretty much it in terms of the legs. And of course the boots, the boots have the back girl symbol on there. And then you got more of that design on there. And man, good looking, clean looking back girl figure. It looks very, very good. But I'm telling you that head sculpture, it is just top notch, man. McFarlane did a really good job with this particular figure. Man, just, I'm telling you, when you see this head sculpture in person, you're going to be like, what the hell, McFarlane? Why can't all these look like this? But McFarlane did a really good job with this figure. This is one of the first ones that he made, and he knocked it out the park, and it looks fantastic. So, of course, the main question is, is it worth it? Should he go out and get this figure? For, for the price that I paid for, for 20 bucks, which is retail, heck yeah, I think for $20, I think it's a good deal. You get a good looking sculpture design for Batgirl. You get some accessories and you get a build a figure or build a vehicle part, which is not probably not the greatest, but you know what? It's still fine. And for $20, I think that's a really good deal for this figure. Now, I was able to get it at like a used store and for 20 bucks that I paid for, hey, I'm not complaining. The reason I'm bringing about the price is because these figures are kind of hard to get and completing this whole entire wave for build a figure, it's going to be hard. I've seen the Nightwing figure go for like $70 and for 70 bucks, it's definitely not worth it. But regardless of the price though, what I think about the figure, I like the figure. The sculpture design looks good. Very clean looking in terms of the body armor or the suit, but the head sculpture is fantastic. The little dimples, the ear on the side, the small subtle details on there just looks fantastic the paint job nice clean looking matte gray with a little bit of golden yellow and you put it all together it just looks really really good and so overall what do i give the batgirl figure from the art of the crime storyline gets a thumbs up for me fantastic figure yeah it's a bit of an old school figure i got lucky that i got it for 20 dollars. but if you can find it definitely get this figure because i'm telling you this head sculpture looks really good. When you see it in person, you're going to understand what I'm saying. So, once again, I give Batgirl the art of the crime. Thumbs up for me. Here we have Batgirl with Batgirl. This is Batgirl from the Three Jokers uh, storyline. And, of course, the Batgirl from the art of the crime. And, as I mentioned about the dimples, you can still see the dimples here from a distance. This one, there's none. It's just all smooth face, which is not a bad thing, but... Like I said, with that little dimples on there, little details like that, makes a figure pop. And they both look good. But if you were to ask me which one do I prefer, I'm going to go for this one. Because little details on the ear, 
the dimples, the backpack, just little things like that make the figure pop more. And yeah, like I said, I prefer this one over this one. Here we have Batgirl from the Gotham Knights video game wave and of course Batgirl from the Art of the Museum or Art of the, what is it called? Art of the Crime storyline, sorry about that. Cool looking skin or costume, whatever you want to call it, armor. But the figure itself, in terms of the head sculpture, it's not bad, but it's also not good. And when you compare this figure head sculpture to this one, this one is like 10 times better than this one. Maybe you could do a head swab. That might look even better, but I still like the more cleaner looking Batgirl compared to this like futuristic armor-like Batgirl. But nonetheless, so here we have Batgirl next to Batgirl. Here we have Batgirl from the Batman Page Punchers wave and of course Batgirl from the comic book version. Two different Batgirls with two different sculpture designs or arrows, I guess you could say. This is a tough one because, well, if you would ask me which one do I prefer, this is going to be tough because on the one hand, I like this cleaner looking Batgirl. Very simple, clean looking, but the head sculpture looks fantastic. This head sculpture... Not bad. I'm not a big fan of it. Again, I like it. Don't get me wrong. But compared to this, compared to this one, yeah, this head sculpture is not that good compared to this. But everything else on this particular figure, the sculpture design, the detail, the paint variety, just, everything about it looks really good when you put it all together. And so you appreciate this figure more, and you're getting way more figure and sculpture design on this one compared to this one. So choosing one, this or this, is hard because. This is more cleaner looking, but it looks good. This one has way more detail, but something about it, I don't know, this is hard. But if I can only choose one, oh shit, this is hard. it's harder than I thought. But if I can only choose one between these two, I'm going to go for this one. Just because the head sculpture design looks better, like the little details in terms of the dimples. It's very subtle, I know, but when I think of that girl, like a cute little like girl, what is it, girl next door type of look, this is it. Here we have Batgirl, and of course, you gotta bring Batman on here as well, too. This is Batman from the Nightfall storyline. Good looking Batman figure, and I think this works very well. Like, having these two side by side, looking at it now, it looks very well, blends in very well, too. Okay, you got a bright blue and yellow Batman with gray. You got here the more darker gray or matte gray, darker blue, but it works very well and it blends in very well. And actually, I'm glad I compared these two figures because you can really see how this will look in your display. But nonetheless, so here we have Batgirl next to Batman. When you're talking about Batgirl, you have to talk about Nightwing. So here we have Nightwing from the Titans or Teen Titans, build the figure way for the Beast Boy and of course Batgirl. These two look fantastic next to each other. I like about both of them is that they have a clean, plain looking design in terms of the actual like figure or suit or skin, however you want to call it. And it works well because these are more comic accurate figures. And it blends in very, very well. And man, these two look fantastic next to each other. But I will say though, the downside of this figure, which I thought about it now, it's going to be the joints because you can tell it's an old school figure, McFarlane, for the joints. You have the round joints, but when you look at this one, it has that new modern like joint. But nonetheless, so here we have Nightwing next to Batgirl. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me on this figure to plan or purchase this figure? Leave it in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not only support the channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. This includes an overview of Batgirl from the Art of Crime storyline. And on to the next one.